boom it's three weeks already man that was fast here we are super bowl sunday pre-game show we're about to tear some shit up okay 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 listen up here's the deal probably the most debated subject in our industry right now is dry pack dry set wet set driven what are we talking about we're literally talking about planting fence posts in the ground i know we're a bunch of fence geeks but that has got to be the number one question, argument, or passionate discussion I see in our forums online in the social world. Even in groups we get together, the conversation naturally leads to how do you set posts? What in the world do we got going on? We are literally gonna have a conversation and do a little bit of testing our, you know, the fence way about when these posts break or fail horizontally, uh, and then when they uh, fail vertically, uh, how much force does it take to get them out of the ground, right? So two loads, lateral load and a vertical load. All right, so what we're talking about here, guys, is what is failure? In our mind, if we pull the post laterally to the point where the post fails and we pull it out and find the concrete's crumbled, then we'll believe that at that point the, failed, the footing failed at the same time as the post or even before the post, right? So if we pull all the footings out and all the footings are still intact, after all the posts failed, then really it proves that none of the concrete footings failed before, prior to the post. We have several posts here. We got these first two were set about a week ago, I believe we did a live video. These are two two by fours married together with, with lags, okay? We put them in two different directions. So we're gonna pull this way, and these are two two by fours sandwiched like that. That one we're gonna pull the same direction, but that two two by fours are turned the other way. That one's a lot stiffer than this one. If you marry two two by fours together, we're gonna drastically reduce the warping and um, twisting. And then the cracking, we're not gonna have cracking on the edge of the two by four like this. Generally, you don't get that checking like you do on a four by four. So that's what's going on right here. Both of these were dry packed. And I would say, Sean, uh, I, I think the post is gonna fail before any footer. All right, or no right. footer, like driven, right? Let's, yeah. Obviously, the post is gonna fail, right? But we're gonna test and see if there's a difference in strength between failure of wet set, failure, the same post, does it fail faster if it has concrete? Does it fail later? Like, does, does it resist more load if it doesn't have concrete? I don't know. These next two posts are a vinyl five by five, 135 wall, one is wet set and one is dry packed. The next two posts are wood four by fours, eight foot long, one's wet set and one is dry packed. The next two posts are uh, two inch aluminum 065, uh, post, one wet set, one dry pack. We're gonna try to drive an aluminum post with the Titan driver here in a minute, see if it works. And then if we are able to drive it, we're gonna pull that lateral load and see if there's a difference with or without concrete. Then the next two posts are two inch schedule 40 uh, steel posts you typically find maybe on a um, commercial project for a line pole on a chain link fence. One's wet set, one's dry pack. We, we've known before, we thought, you shouldn't dry pack on a round post, it's hard to get compaction. So in that situation, we dry packed the hole first and then drove the steel post into the dry packed concrete that day. And then now we've allowed it to, to harden up. So on the Postmaster post, to be clear, we're dry packing that the same day we're pulling it, within minutes of pulling that post. We're doing, we're doing this to ensure the fact that concrete has zero time to grab any moisture and set itself up. What we're comparing at this point is driving the post into already compacted concrete, comparatively driving it to the soil next to it to see if there's any difference in forces pulling up on the post to see if there's a higher compaction. So can we create even more compaction in the ground than a driven post? We're gonna set uh, two Postmasters. So we're gonna drive a Postmaster um, and then we're gonna set one in dry pack concrete. We're gonna dry pack it live on the video with the goal being, I know it will not be set up. We know for sure it will not set up. We know positively it's not gonna set up in five minutes. So we're gonna dry pack that and see if it makes a difference between driven. Like, uh, is there more compression in the pole, in the hole? Is it better than the dirt itself? I don't know, so give it a shot. Um, I think that's it, right? So, boom. Was that like an 18 pound bar style? Something like that. Like a rule king special. And you notice here guys, several of the clips of the video, you see Canon 
Johnson with Jackson Fence here. He's got the camera rolling. He's vetting and double checking everything from the Danny Cannon Show uh, Fence Life, My Fence Life. He's there just making sure that everything is done for real. No video editing, no tricks. If you don't believe us, ask Kenny. Eight point two kilograms. An event. I know. Hang on. Eight point two kilograms. Listen, I do not know how to operate a crane scale. We couldn't figure out on the fly how to change it to pounds. So we'll convert all this stuff over to pounds. But uh, I had to read everything off in kilograms because we were live Super Bowl Sunday. I'm sure there's a button to press on the scale. It's just much smarter than me. 8.6. 8.6 on that one. Yep. The first one we had 8.6 and 8.2 in the steel post. That's very consistent to me. Like one was dry pack, one was wet set. I think they both failed. It was, it was operator error at that point. Us reading the scale and pulling at the same time. Those basically failed at the same time in my opinion. So I don't think the concrete footer made a difference whatsoever. Fourteen point four. Fourteen point six again. One dry pack, one driven. Fourteen point six. So the driven and dry pack test, they both failed. I'm gonna call it the same. Like, if anything, the dry pack was just a touch higher, 0.2 kilograms. So, pretty much the same. I don't see a difference in the failure between driven and dry pack. Watch that scale. Whoa. 5.0. 5 What's the, is that an 065? 065. Good. 5.2. 5.2. This is what the other one was. Aluminum post, 065. Again, very consistent data. Wet set, dry pack. The wet set was 5.0 kilograms and the dry pack was 5.2. Just a little higher. I'm gonna call that even, Steven. Where we at? Where we at? We're 38 and now 40. Oh, good, cracked. 41? 40, I saw 42 on there. 42. What do you got? Crack, crack, crack. 48, 46. So on the wood 4x4 posts, we have a little bit of a difference there between um, the dry pack and the wet set. They have 42 and 46, 47 kilograms lateral load. But I think that little inconsistent data has to do with the post itself, the grain structure of the, of the post. You know, you do that over another 10 posts, we'll probably find an average of 44, 45 in there most likely. But it's gonna be hard because those are not man-made to get the exact same grain structure between a 4x4, um, between two 4x4s. 9.5, 9.4, 11.8, 12. Good. 13. 13.8, 14. Oh! 14. 14. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, 6, 14, 2, 14, 4. Oh! 14, 4. 14.4 on this one. I don't know why all these are just a 0 0.2 higher on dry pack. Um, I think that's a chance. I can't, I can't imagine that the dry pack's adding that 0 0.2, but maybe it is consistent. But end of the day, the posts are definitely failing um, long before the concrete. I mean, they're consistently failing about the same lateral load. Three, four, five, six. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Boop! 14. 14. Not nearly as strong as a 4x4. We had 41 and 47. 6, 7, 8. The whole footer's coming out. 11, 12, 14. 14. <laughs> 
It's the same. Two by fours laminated together turned in two different directions. They're both dry packed in this case. There was no wet set. This was a two by four test to see the idea of setting a laminated two two by fours together instead of a four by four wood post because we would have cross graining, less warping and twisting. We also have less splitting and checking because the dimensional lumber is smaller. Um, they both uh, failed at the same point. That's interesting no matter which way they were turned. And then the other part of it that's very interesting is they failed at the same point as a postmaster. Come out of the ground yet. Let's try it again. Wow. Same thing. Oh, They're just dry packed. There's no water added at all. Like that's just not possible, right? Let's see. They're weak. We did already crack them though, to be fair. They were cracked. The kilogram thing was messing up all day. We kept calling it poundage, but 270 kilograms, we tried pulling that first set of two by fours and they're both dry packed, remembered. And so they both uh, broke before we can get them out of the ground. So both dry pack two by four tests, laminated together, failed long before we can get those footers out of the ground. Those are dry pack footers. You know, after going back and watching this video, we used that steel plate to try to pull those out. And that creates the an offset between the vertical pull of the chain and the steel plate in, in line with the post. And I suspect that some of that snapping off happened because we were kind of creating that leverage point and breaking those two two by fours. I think we've been better off had we wrapped the train, the chain around the post and pulled vertically closer to the plane of the post. You know, but we didn't. It is what it is. That much, yeah. The vinyl post broke. How's it broke? Yep. The post gave before anything. Where were we at? We hit 146. That's the highest number I saw. This one's got wet concrete pulled, poured to grade. So we knew most likely this was not going to work. Because this only works as you get in the concrete footer. So we're going to cut this off and put a bolt in it. All right, so we never did end up getting the vinyl slugs out of the ground. The wet set one, the way we did that was we filled the hole up with concrete and slid the vinyl post into the wet concrete, which put wet concrete in the center of the post. I did that because I knew that's how Mark Olson had set posts and I don't, I'm not used to wet setting. Didn't even think about the fact that my extractor can't go inside there to pull it out later. So that was doomed to fail. Um, we ended up putting a lag in it, trying to pull it out, that lag broke. We're dealing with a lot of mud, cold weather, it's freezing out there and, and uh, it was not great conditions. The dry pack vinyl post, it broke off multiple times. Um, the extractor wasn't working well in that muddy, wet conditions with the destroyed post. So um, both those footers, we did not get data on uplift on either one because of uh, the footers were set so well. What was that, 300? 303. 303. Dry, dry pack. So the concrete footing on this is not broke. We have uh, we had two bags of hole on every single hole. 160 pounds. So we hit 280 on that when it came out. Well, here's what we know on wood 4x4 posts. Definitely a little bit of a difference there. 303 kilograms of vertical pull for the dry pack, 280 on the wet set. Um, and look at the size of the dirt spoil coming out. Like that, it's heaving a large amount of the ground around the posts as they come out. 
We did pull over those with a chain. Like I said, we should have done it on the two by fours. That way it doesn't stress and break the post. Definitely gonna fail before the post comes out. Where we at? Huh? 222. So the aluminum post, we had dry pack, wet set. The wet set came out of the ground with 222 kilograms uplift force. The uh, dry pack one just sheared the post completely off. So we don't know what it would take took to get that out, but identical post set identically, and the dry pack one ripped the post in two. We had them strapped the same, everything like that, before we can get it out of the ground. So potentially the dry pack is compacted in the ground and wedged more than the wet set. That's what that data shows us. Horse the scale. Who you at? Where do you at? 223. So that's a dry pack footer right there. 35. Sorry, that was a driven post. No concrete driven, 35. Oh, huh? That's nuts. So dry pack, wet set, two inch um, round, galvanized post, they both pull at 223 kilograms, exactly the same. Uh, I was kind of shocked by that. The driven post, that blew me away even more, 35. 35 kilograms that came out of the ground. So, big difference there, right? Um, I think that's opened up another, another discussion on driven post. Does it have some sort of calculation to do with the diameter or the width of the post and the depth of the post to get a good driven performance. In this case, it was driven uh, four feet deep and it's only a two inch diameter post. It's not a lot of surface area there. So I'm not terribly surprised that it's less than a concrete footer that has a lot more surface area, but I don't know exactly what the calculation would be to make it comparable. To get a driven post two inch to 223 kilogram up force pool. What we got? 65, 70, 80, 90. 95 on dry pack. We just said it today, bro. Oh, okay. Read it. Hurry. 10, 11, 12, 12. 112. Hey, you gotta spit it out. You gotta lose it. 112. And there you go, your postmaster set. You got dry pack one versus driven. The dry pack pulled out at 95 kilograms and the driven postmaster was 112 kilograms holding, holding a little bit better than the dry pack. So, some awesome data right there guys. What does it tell us? I think that proves the point that whether you wet set or dry pack, they're both going to equally perform and exceed the post uh, capabilities. So whether you properly dry pack or you properly wet set, the deficiency is really gonna be in the post itself and not in either one of those applications. What we did not test was dry setting, and that is not compacting the concrete, um, just dumping a dry bag in there and then shaking the pole and adding some water. So maybe the next test is we start experimenting with dry setting and see where does that fail and does that exceed the post performance. So. There it is, mystery solved. Magic concrete, dry pack for the wind. You guys have a great day. 55, 60, 75, 80. All right. We got one more to try. I'm gonna have concrete freaking chunks in my yard now, man. I fully expected all these things to come out of the ground.